Hello, I'm Sim from Rental Milan. Uh, we rent uh, all inclusive price houses in, here in Milan uh, already more than 10 years. Um, so um, you can ask me from comments uh, uh, what you want, but uh, I wanted to explain uh, um, where to live in Milano when you come here uh, to study or to work. Uh, uh, mainly we have Pocconi students, so if you come to Pocconi University, you see STA Pocconi is here. Here we have University Pocconi, it's the old block, uh, also here is Pocconi. And uh, maybe you don't notice, but the only thing that is missing here is metro. The public transport system is quite good, uh, but there is not metro by now near Pocconi. It will come here, Molina de Army, but Pocconi is here, so... and. Uh, uh, we have even people from uh, Politecnico and uh, uh, like people who study here or uh, Sita Studi or some other place, they prefer to stay in Navili. Oh, this is our office also here, you see. The Navili is these two canals and this is Tarsena. So they prefer to, even if they need to go some other side of the city, they prefer to stay in Navili because there is aperitivo. So it's like you um, um, you pay f for the drink. Uh, it can be also with no alcohol, and you um, you eat free. So many use it uh, to eat a lot in the evening and uh, to save money, or uh, you don't have time to eat uh, very uh, when you have a school or work. And so you go out in the evening, and it's a nice way also to um, socialize. There is a lot of international uh, people here also, a lot of students. And the other area that people like is uh, Prera. Prera is considered, let's say, around Moscow, for you to know. Maybe I make a special video about it also. There is nice parks also here around. You can go everywhere walking. If you, if you, um, if you work here or study here somewhere, Marangoni is here, example, and STA is not far also. And some other places. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, the non uh, Milano has quite good public transport system. So there is one uh, uh, trolley bus that goes around here. Then we have inside that there is a bus. This this one there is bus also, and there is a no. This one is bus, uh, I think, and this one is tram. Number nine. And so actually. If you take uh, like one mile from university, so the circle is something like this, 1.5 kilometers, 2 kilometers. So you could, should find something near this big road. There is metro also, and then you can take no tram number three. And uh, there is also nice park near Bocconi. Uh, everything started uh, uh, in from Ottavia apartment. Ottavia apartment is here. I think it's signed also. No, it's not signed, but anyway, it's here. Yeah, this uh, tram stop number number three comes from here. It goes until Duomo to the center, and here is number 15 also. So it doesn't matter which one you take to go in the center also. So it would be perfect if you live near um, um, 15 or 3. So I, I can show you from our website where we have houses also, so you can understand better. I hope it's useful. I mean, uh, so people ask also, is it safe here? It's the main question. Maybe I make uh, another video about it, but uh, what I answer is just that it's common sense, and uh, this is our website. It's common sense, like in every country. Uh, there is light also in the night. There is people, uh, so there is no problem, actually. So this is the map uh, with all of our apartments. Let me see if I can make it full screen, but yeah, not so full screen, but now it's too much, I think. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I, anyway. So this is the area I was talking before. So Pocconi is here, you can't see it from this uh, map, but oh, okay, so you c as you can see we have many houses around Milano, 
but we prefer uh, to have them near metro so it doesn't matter where you live in Milano actually near metro um, they are all almost near metro and you can see they are you, you can see they are concentrated in this uh, few areas so actually in Brera we have just one house and then uh, some other house near the center center is considered actually this first circumvallation is center center so the second one is like let's say center this is like old town and this is also old town porta means uh, in italian means door so this is you see porta genova it goes to genova genova direction there is porta venezia it goes to um, uh, venezia direction there is porta romana that goes to rome direction uh, so very nice ports, so very nice doors. Um, so you can see that our apartments are concentrated also around uh, tram number three that comes from here. I hope you see the cursor, and tram number fifteen that comes from here. So many of our houses are here near the tram also. So um, and also Tavia apartment that everything started more than the Nizago is here. You see. Okay, uh, I hope it's useful. Uh, I, I, I want to show you another area. Uh, sorry. So I was telling you about Brera that you can consider, but it's uh, smaller houses, more expensive houses. Also our house there is like, um, like 2000 always with all inclusive price, but uh, in Navili if there is something free you can find cheaper or bigger house with the same budget. Also now the new area is Isola, so it's here. There is the Bosco Verticale, the famous house, like a uh, famous uh, forest house. And, uh, and Mirano is circumvallation, as you can see. As I was saying, this is the old town. Then there is a bigger circumvallation and actually uh, it's good to uh, think this as a Milano, like a, also, Mi Milano people, they don't consider Milan uh, much outside of this, but you know, there is also another circulation here. And then there is another even bigger circulation uh, around Milano. And Milano, actually, um, I start to, I come from Estonia, I live here more than 10 years also now, but I start to appreciate Milano now that uh, I'm living here more than 10 years. As Milano is just 1.3 million people, so it's quite big, uh, enough big to have everything, uh, but it's not too big, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's good. Um, and actually I try to live also here outside when there is m more nature. There is not many trees, but uh, I mean, you see green, but it doesn't mean it's green. And uh, yeah, and then we have three airports. You can talk about this also if you are still listening. Milano is the biggest airport, it's here, like one hour trip, uh, many flights go there and uh, there is Terminal 2 with uh, cheap uh, EasyJet flights that I prefer. Um, Ryanair, uh, I show you also. Then there is Linate, it's here very near, but very few expensive flights, direct flights, there is some from New York. And Pergamo or your Serio, this is also one hour with the bus, with the Malpen, so you can go with the train. I'm on Express train also from uh, Central Station Caribaldi and from uh, Cadorna FN. Yeah, this is the other. I here you can go with bus uh, and also Linate you can go with bus. And Pergamon is nice to visit also. So Milano is uh, you can see everything in few days, but I mean there is a lot of history and that you can go around. So this is something I tell to all the clients when they arrive here and maybe they want to go to pick them up uh, from them from the airport, but I will talk about this also maybe in the details, or let me know what you would like to know more. Uh, I see also Esselunga sign here, so Esselunga is uh, the main uh, supermarket that is good, that people say that is similar to their country, like Americans, so we have many Americans, so it's good to check it out, it's not the cheapest, but uh, uh, here there is some Esselunga also. I can write it here. I go <laughs> very far away from uh, 
for what I was doing the, the video, but uh, you see many SLM guys here around. Here inside you have Carrefour Express, that is small, uh, small uh, shops, uh, and the SLM guy is quite big. Uh. Oh my, actually it's Chinese uh, place for uh, if you need house stuff, we have Ikea also, but there is Oh my here, a Chinese supermarket, and the cheapest is this one, supermarket. I can show you where it is, also it's called the MD before, but Lombardy discount LED, now it's called uh, Nicola Palmieri 58. So, this is small as Elunga, this is big, this is also big near the school. I hope uh, uh, this info is useful and let me know what you would like to know more. The bars and the life in the evening and the music is here, in here and here in this road. A lot of people here in the evening. Um, a good laundromat is here, if I'm already talking all these things. Uh, laundromat is here, via Marco di Ogiono 5. Good parking here if you come with car, you can make uh, 150 euros maximum a month. And this Lavanderia self service, this is the other one. Uh, this is in Tibaldi. Tibaldi. Uh, Tibaldi Viale Tibaldi 1. Actually, uh, Naba, Nova Academia Bella, Dia Bella Arti is here, and also Domus. If you was wondering if you are, uh, it's nice park here. My office is here actually, it's very nice. You can come to visit me if you want. You can need to agree time before that. Uh, and then, ah yes, there is good... Uh, uh, if I'm already saying all these things... Uh, there is good ice cream shop here. Let me see if it comes out. doesn't come out. Strange. Ah yes, it comes out. Yes, it's here. Sorry. Via Savona 17. Uh, Taste 17 it's called. It's, it's very good. And there is some other ones also, I mean. So I hope it's useful and uh, ask me some other question if you have. I will make detailed uh, video maybe in the future for uh, for many things. So uh, there is many videos about metro, how to go around with metro. Uh, uh, actually, I can also talk about it now. And then this is the ticket you can find. Uh, you see it, I think. You c this is one time ticket. 150 now it's two euros I think then there is one day ticket like five euros or something and then there is ten times ticket 15 20 euros maybe a little bit discount uh, and uh, you can go uh, 90 minutes uh, everywhere you want in Milan you can go in one hour so uh, and metro you need to see just the last stop and this is the direction and uh, the metro ticket, uh, if you have local SIM, you can also uh, send SMS to, na to a number. And actually, Milano public transport system is called ATM, like the ATM, like the cash machine, but it's also um, like auto tram. Uh, 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 I don't know exactly what this is, but uh, something. Uh, Agenda Transporti Milanesi. Uh, um, Milano transport agency, basically. Uh, yeah, it's funny. Uh, so I wanted to check. Uh, sorry, the. Uh, you need to go to Topakaria where you can take. Uh, uh, um, where you can buy cigarettes also, and Tabakaria is something like this. Um, Tabakaria, there is tea, like a uh, peak tea. Uh, Normally it's black also, and uh, it's the place you can buy. If you ask Carnet, uh, you can get the 10 times ticket, and then you have time to go to 18 point in, uh, in Duomo to make the 
student uh, or worker one um, that you can make photo there and oh, this is good you see here this tea you see if you see it it means you can buy the ticket uh, with cash they don't want card maybe if it's one euros five euros maybe in Italy we have this problem also so uh, they are building new metro also and it's nice but it's ready in a few years maybe something that's why the uh, price went higher from, from 50 to 2 euros um, what else um, I prefer e uh, EasyJet as a um, um, to go s uh, somewhere to fly uh, and actually it's cheaper to maybe fly to some uh, other country in Italy and uh, uh, in, in Europe for the weekend because um, I show you where we are uh, so Milano is good hub it's just few hours to go to the to the sea with a car or with a train also or to, to, to go in the mountains my preferred uh, favorite place is uh, near Genova you find something but for the ski it's uh, Chamonix it's here somewhere there is flexi bus uh, cheap buses also now I prefer um, EasyJet to Ryanair because uh, Ryanair doesn't include the uh, carry-on luggage also, so you, the price at the end, if you want to sit together, you need to pay extra for everything, you know, the carry-on, to sit together, to guarantee to sit together, so they are uh, smart, uh, but uh, you don't, the price more or less is the same at the end, even if it seems cheaper Ryanair. And then you can fly everywhere, and it's cheaper to fly somewhere in Europe than to go somewhere in Italy, maybe now the situation will change uh, because, the, because of the corona, but uh, 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 Rome actually it can be two three hundred euros just the train I mean I would like to go to Rome back uh, but uh, just went long time ago but uh, it's very expensive so it's cheaper actually to go some fly somewhere else because Europe is more or less like states the size I mean it's quite small people are surprised also how easy it is to travel here there is no borders because it's Schengen also Switzerland it's better you bring your documents to Switzerland but uh, you can go with the train my clients, many of my clients go, they say it's nice. And they go also Istanbul, that is here, they go to Prague, that is just the cheapest places, a little bit, they say. Uh, Budapest is very nice, they say. Poland is cheaper also. I mean, probably it's nice to go places that are cheaper. Uh, then there is Dublin, London is very expensive, they say. Actually, only people who come from London or New York, they say this is Milano is a little bit cheaper. So Madrid, they say it's nice, Barcelona, Paris, of course. Paris is a little bit similar to uh, Milano. So Amsterdam, a lot of our clients go. Um, I'm from uh, Estonia, actually, it's here, three hours flight. So if this is three hours flight, 3,000 kilometers, you can see that you can go everywhere. If this is three hours, you can see that you can go everywhere in a few hours. Only maybe if you want to go Canaria, it's more. Uh, uh, Denmark is expensive. Oslo is expensive. Helsinki is nice. Also, you can take, you can fly to Helsinki or Tallinn and take the. There is also cheap airplanes. You can take um, uh, how it's called, uh, like a cruise with the uh, 48 hours. Uh, Visa to go to St. Petersburg also, I recommend uh, summer, but uh, uh, our clients go with the train also to Switzerland, maybe when there is Christmas time or something. Austria is very near, also Germany is near, uh, people like to go to see Monaco. I uh, recommend also Rome, Florence, uh, Venice you can go three hours uh, train, Verona is in the middle, you can go to Florence. Uh, I'm in Rome, Florence is in the middle, Naples is not far also, so you could take all the way to Naples with the Freccia Rossa, it's a red arrow, uh, fast train or Italo, and then uh, Rome, I recommend also Sardinia, it's very nice, Sicily, very nice experiences, also Naples, nice to go but not to live there, also the locals say, but yeah, so uh, you have things to do for sure. There is Cinque Terre is here around uh, Spezia. Many of my clients went, so I went also. 
this is little uh, fishing uh, uh, villages so you go with the train to La Spezia and then and then people like to go also I haven't been I want to go Sorrento and all these places you can go with, from Naples with the bus or train and then you go around here also I, d oh, I didn't know that Capri is here actually Ischia is a bigger island yeah so I need to discover Italy still also Corsica is a, a France part. Uh, so I, hel I hope that this info was useful. Is everything I talk in one hour when I bring people from uh, um, airport to apartment or when I go to make check-in, I like to be very uh, thorough to explain everything about the house and what everything they want to know. So this is the main things. Everybody asks also, is it, is it safe in Milano? So only thing I can say that, I mean, there is statistics also, you can see that it's safe, but maybe in the night uh, around the central station area, it's not so nice because there is drug and like that people, I mean, drug and uh, drunk people that like everywhere probably. But if you take the metro, it goes under, so. And the buses are just this side of the central station when you need to go to Malpensa or, or Bergamo or El Serio. And uh, yeah, so I, ha I hope this info is useful and uh, let me know if you have questions. And uh, good luck and uh, see you here in Milan soon. Thank you.